So not only is it December, that's why I'm wearing the Santa hat, but it's also very appropriate that this is a D&D video and I'm wearing a shirt that proclaims me as the Bard. See that? The Bard. So this story comes from um, my Curse of Strahd campaign, which eventually turned into a podcast. Before we started recording it as a podcast, we were just playing it just to play it because we all had nothing else to do and we really wanted to play a D&D campaign together. Eventually, you know, we're running through Curse of Strahd and eventually they get to Van Richten's tower at uh, Lake Baratok. And while they're staying in Van Richten's tower, learning some of Van Richten's history, uh, encountering his protege Esmeralda, they are waylaid by witches. These witches start throwing things at the tower, throwing shit through the window, trying to cast spells through the window, just all this, this shit, and it, of course it provokes a big fight. So everybody's trying to fight in through this very narrow, like, I don't know, seven foot gap that the window provided. Everybody's trying to fight through this t small window, and to give you an idea of who our party is, it wasn't very conducive. We had Jack, who's a human rogue warlock. Sure, he could uh, fling a few spells and throw daggers, but that was about it. We have a necromancy-based wizard named Nilfeladel. Again, spellcasting, that's fine. You understand that trying to cast 50 million spells all at the same time through a window is not very easy to do. <laughs> And then uh, we also had Varith, a Tempest Cleric Dragonborn. And we have our final member, Sonya, who is a Way of the Sun Soul Monk. Now this story revolves around Sonya. And because she's a monk, she does some absolutely insane shit. She, does, she doesn't have any weapons. Her weapons are her fists. And she can't exactly just punch someone through a window when they're 20 feet away in the air. And she's inside of the tower. She has a pouch of sand. Don't know where she got it, she just had it. And I know she had it because she had mentioned it before. So what she does is that when one of the witches got really close to the window trying to get into the tower, pouch of sand, grabs a handful. Pocket sand. No! <laughs> so I made the witch roll a dexterity saving throw to see if they could keep their handle on their, on their flying broom. I rolled a natural one. So, with the power of pocket sand, Sonia successfully killed a witch as it plummeted 40 to 50 feet to their death. Oh, but this isn't where the story ends, alright? Sonia pulls off even more dope shit because she's a monk, and monks are dope. With a running start, Sonia leaps out of the window in an attempt to knock one of the witches off their broom and take control of the broom herself. She nat 20 is the acrobatics roll I made her roll. And you know what the witch rolled on their dexterity save? That's right, I rolled another natural one. So in two unorthodox, really cool moves, Sonia killed two witches. One with pocket sand, and the other with a karate flip out the window. <laughs> that was one of the best sessions, and I wish we were recording it at that time because that's, that fight alone was incredible. And I don't think anything that we do in the podcast can help, can maybe recreate that scene. It was amazing, it was hilarious, everybody had a great time talking about it afterward. Man, I wish we got that on audio. So hey, thank you so much for watching this episode of D&D Nerd Out. I'm gonna do more of these, I'm not just gonna relegate them, oh. Got some, got some white tufts falling off the hat already. I just got this fucking thing too. Um, I won't relegate D&D Nerd Out videos to December. I just wanted to start this run of videos in December. Just because I did it last year when it was still D&D &D December and I decided to make it my own kind of thing. So, yeah, just, you can expect more of these just like whenever. <laughs> So thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.